In today's video, we are going to talk about tell time to the minute. First, I'm going to start off by telling you what a digital clock is and what an analog clock is. A digital clock is a clock that shows the time in numbers, and an analog clock has an hour hand and a minute hand. For this problem, we are going to use an analog clock. The short hand is the hour, and the longer hand is the minute. For this example, we have the clock shows the time Michael got home from math class. What time is it? The first thing you want to start off is by finding the hour, then finding the minute. So the hour, it has, it, it has passed 6, but it hasn't reached 7. So the hour is still 6. And then the minute, when you try to find a minute, you count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So the time is 6, 40. So the time that Michael got home from math class is 6, 40. So for this problem, we have to circle the correct time shown on the clock. And we have our clock here. Let's find the hour to find which answer is correct. So the smaller hand, which is the hour, is on the 4. And the longer hand, which is the minute, is on the 6. So the hour is 4. But how much minutes is there? Let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So the answer is 4.30. For this problem, we have uh, two different clocks, a digital clock and an analog. Let's start off with the digital clock. The digital clock shows the time in numbers. You don't have to look for it. So right here is 6.20. So is it 20 minutes before 6 or is it 6.20? The time is 6.20, so your answer will be 6.20 Let's move on to the analog clock We have to find which one is the right answer Is it 110 or is it 120? The hour is 1 But we don't know how much minutes So let's find out 5, 10, 15, 20 So it's 1 with 20 minutes so your correct answer is going to be 1, 20. So here we still have a digital clock and an analog clock. Let's start off with that digital clock. So our time is 420. Let's find the correct answer. Is it 20 minutes? No, because 20 minutes will only be 20. Now, without the 4. So it's 420. Let's move on to the analog clock. We have to find the, our correct time to circle the correct answer. So, the smaller hand has passed the 7, but it hasn't got to the 8. So, the hour is still 7. So, we know that our hour is 7, now let's find our minute. So, it's 5, 10, 15. And once your mini hand is on these numbers right here, these are going to be minutes. Each each line is a minute. So this is 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So your correct time is 7, 18. For this problem, we have to write the time shown on the clock in numbers and words. So, let's find our time. Remember that the short hand is an hour, and the longer hand is the minutes. So, our hour would be, it has passed the 8, but it hasn't reached 9, so it's still 8. Let's write it first in numbers. So, our hour is going to be 8. But we don't know our minute yet, so let's count. Remember, when you're trying to find your minute, you count by 5. So this is 5, 10, 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So your minute is going to be 50. And the, next we have to write it in words. So the way you write in the words is... 8, because that's our hour, 8, 50. For this example, we have to find our time the same way we did for the other ones. I remember that each one of these is 5 minutes, so 1 is 5, 2 is 10, 3 is 15, 4 is 20, 5 is 25 and 6 is 30, 7 is 35, 8 is 40, 9 is 45, 10 is 50, and 11 is 55, and 12 is 60. So our time here, the blue is the shorthand. It has passed the 9, but it, it hasn't reached the 10, so the time is still 9. Our hour is 9, and our minutes. 5, 10, 50, 20, 25, 30, 35, 7. 7 is 35. Let's write 35. And now we're going to write it in words. 9, 9, because that's our hour. 9, 30, 5, because that's our time. For this example, we have to draw a line to match each clock to its correct time. So right here we have four different clocks and we have to draw a line to the correct time. We're going to start with this clock. The first thing we're going to find is our hour. The smaller one is an hour. So we're going to be here. Our hour is four. We have one time that it's four, but we don't know if our minutes is 17. So let's find out. 1 is 5, 2 is 10, 3 is 15, and each one of these little lines is 1 minute. So this is 16, 17. So this is the correct one for 17. That's our time for this clock. Let's move on to this clock. This clock, the smaller hand, which is our hour, is on the 1. We have one time that is on our 1, but we don't know if it's 10 minutes. So let's see. 5, 10. 2 is 10. So this is the correct one because our time is 110. For this one, our smaller hand is on the 8, which is our hour. So our hour is 8. This is 8. And our minutes is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 30. So the correct one is this one. For the last clock, we're going to start with to finding our hour. The smaller one is our hour and the smaller one is on the 5. We have one time that is 5 and remember each time we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 is an hour. 60 minutes is an hour. So this one's gonna be 5 o'clock we have a friend that is having trouble telling time with minutes and hours. Make sure to share this video with them. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.